There were two fears I had growing up in China, rat meat and gutter oil. And it's still a big issue in China. Welcome to China Insider, I'm David Zhang. Now you're probably familiar with the gutter oil or spittle oil situation, which essentially is oil recycled from the sewer or leftover pots and used again. Uh, it's a systemic problem in China. In some cases, you see people take out oil from garbage cans. Others open the sewage cover to take out oil. Once it gets to the processing plant, the oil will be brand new and you can't even tell the difference. And not only is it carcinogenic, by the way, China leads the world in new cancer patients in 2020, but the idea itself is just simply gross. Can you imagine if you went to Italy and the chef cooked pasta with olive oil scraped from other people's leftover plates? That's just disgusting. Well, this was very prominent in hot pot restaurants in China, where they use a large amount of hot oil, but it's even gotten more sophisticated as they now come pre-packaged, and the server will cut open the package in front of you, so you think that this is a brand new package, right? The oil will be fine, but it could actually also be gutter oil. Even if you buy those products in America, it's hard to tell if they're really good oil or gutter oil, so I would stick with the Japanese or Korean brands next time. Uh, whereas spittle oil is just the oil of other diners. They filter out the food particles and they reuse it for the next table. Now, some people resorted to bringing their own oil to the restaurant, but that's not the solution. Serpenza so did a great video explaining this, so I'll leave the rest of the detail to that, but uh, I want to talk about the core issue here. So I think it's not just that it's an economic money-saving practice, but it's a moral one. Well, think about it. Like, what would it take for someone in these videos to physically harvest leftover oil. Doing the unthinkable of presenting gutter oil to a table of customers who have no idea where that oil has been. Watching them become essentially like human garbage cans slurping down noodles or hot pots with that oil. It's disgusting. But it's become an industry where crime goes unpunished in most cases. And it's because they simply don't care about other people's lives. Especially in hot pot places where they use beef tallow, uh, it would be really expensive to use fresh tallow every single time. But considering, you know, when you're dumping oil, it also requires treatments in sewage, which also gets expensive. Uh, as I said, what better way to recycle beef tallow than to use human beings as the final metabolic processing plant, uh, sort of for disposing oil. It's very ironic that the whole idea of communism is about collectiveness, yet vicious individualism is the most prominent part in modern communist China. Gutter oil was an issue since the 1980s, when China's sudden economic boom took many by surprise, and it was a free-for-all match to compete for business opportunities. Opening a restaurant was impossible just 10 years prior to that, because under Mao, it was hardcore communism, everybody, you know, people's communes, and you had state-owned enterprises. So the sudden boom in restaurants uh, required a large expense on oil. The operating expense is there. And so this is one of those times you look at the reform and opening era in China with an objective eye and say that, yes, Chinese people got rich, but at what cost? The price of the rich is the sacrifice of morality. Now, I argue that without the Cultural Revolution where traditional Chinese culture and values were eliminated, there wouldn't be the implosion of morality in China that followed. The, the Chinese Communist Party systematically eliminated restrictions on what is humanly possible. So when the reform happened, you gave a bunch of people a bunch of money. It's a population that just went through a crazy 10 years of political struggle. What do you think would happen to them? It's like Las Vegas on steroids, but like drowning in money, uh, a huge amount of it. Now, gutter oil represents the worst of the Chinese society under the CCP, and that's not even the worst part. Because of the moral decline overall, there's other issues like the gutter oil, right? Tofu drag buildings, which we've been talking about extensively. Uh, I used to be scared to eat out because of rat meat. It was used in place of pork or chicken and barbecue stalls. And this was what was happening in China. There's fake products. You could be enjoying the tasty meat or whatever vegetable or ingredient only for it to be a fake, right? But it's seasoned to perfection. You could be chewing on cardboard thinking it's a steak uh, or chicken thinking it's, it's chicken but it's actually a rat. Uh, there's also issues with a lot of things like prostitution. We can go on for days naming everything wrong with the Chinese society, but uh, in the end, it all points to what happened, right? Drug trafficking, prostitution, food quality, fake products. Have you noticed the pattern here? All of these, they have to do with the CCP. The Communist Party has all the surveillance tools possible, from citizen tracking, Skynet systems, to the social credit score system. It has extensive information and data gathering on everybody in China. 
Yet, why haven't we seen a complete crackdown on any single one of these issues? I mean, the benefit would be tremendous. You would have a perfect opportunity to right the wrong, to boost the confidence of the people in the government, and to propagandize it all. And this also applies to the fentanyl precursor situation, right? It's coming out of China. They could stop it, but they just haven't. I think they just don't because it will end up making the CCP the final culprit behind it all. Because everything that goes on in China is tied to the government officials. And those that are doing the illegal things in this case, uh, we can call them gray area businesses, like the gutter oil and so on, they won't go anywhere if there isn't a party or government aspect to watch their backs. The very people of the judicial system, right, that's the police, courts, and the inspector generals, they are the beneficiaries of these lucrative businesses. Why are there prostitution issues in China? It's because of the police chief, the deputies, and the average Joe, they're all doing it. They're all part of that ring, right? The arrests you see on state TV, they're just for show. The entire system caters to money, and the CCP officials want to make money too. And that's really it. It's a moral problem. It's a CCP problem for all the social issues we see in China. All right, that's it. Our episode today on gutter oil and why it still happens in China. If you enjoy the content, leave a like, comment below your thoughts, and subscribe to our channel. All right, I'm David Zhang. This is China Insider. We'll see you next time.